we're starting this video like this. Gotta get rid of some graffiti. And, uh, that window too. That's it. And we got another job in on the way back home. Uh, roof cleaning. So, I'll probably record that job. Uh, I'm gonna try to get this done as quick as possible. Good job. Well done. Uh, on to the second one. All right, job two. Uh, we're finishing up this roof. Uh, really, it's this side that was really bad. Uh, yeah, I guess that shows it pretty good. Um, and uh, it's a couple little spots there that we're hitting up too. Uh, yeah, we're just doing this real quick. We're pretty much done. Um, actually, let me rinse this off real quick. Yeah. I'll see you guys on the walk. And today is going to be, so yesterday, right? Yesterday was a leg, that modified leg day, which is like a full body split. Uh, just so I can keep the frequency high on the biceps, delts, and traps. I wasn't able to hit the delts or the traps yesterday. And that was really because uh, I was limited on time. So I had that night job last night. So today what I'm going to do, which is going to be fun, is I'm going to do delts and arms today. Knock that out. Uh, biceps, no, because I hit them yesterday. and They're, they're really sore right now. But I'm going to do uh, delts, triceps, shoulders, a lot of side delt, uh, some front or, or presses, and some rears. But I'm doing like, I think it's going to be seven or eight sets on side, spamming side delt, which is good because, I mean, that's what I'm going to be doing this uh, when I rebound, when I bulk up, because that's really what I want to grow right now is a side delt because my chest is there I mean obviously you know I'm cutting down still but I got a shelf at the top and uh, you know I got a shelf my chest is good my lats are good uh, definitely the legs are always gonna need more work it's not a strong point for me uh, quads have gone up a lot and hamstrings have gone up they were really bad before so uh, calves but to, to finish up the upper body, I say uh, this bulk, or the first bulk I'm gonna do is going to be a uh, just full on delt and arms, a spam and delt and arms hard, and then just put uh, chest and back on maintenance and legs on maintenance. Uh, maybe hamstrings. If I, can, if I can prioritize hamstrings and still get results, uh, I'll throw hamstring, biceps, triceps, and delts on prior, like prioritizing them. And then if that if that works out for me, I'll, I'll probably uh, I'll see how it goes. But that's that's the plan. So today would be a little taste of what I'm going to be doing when I start coming back up. So a lot of side delt. So I'm gonna end it here. And I'll see you guys on the walk. Day 79. Wow. 79, what am I talking about? Yeah, I was about to say. 39, 39. Damn, I'm getting ahead of myself. 39 for me. This is episode 37, or is it 37? No way. No, it's 29, 27. Fuck, this shit's kind of funny. I'm gonna just leave this here. I don't care. Uh, It is 20, I'm tired, I'm tired. I worked the third shift yesterday and two jobs today early this morning. I'm pretty tired. I'm just getting out here to do the walk. So yeah, this is episode 27. I'm on day 29 right now. It's nice as hell out. So I'm in some shorts and a short sleeve. Enjoying the weather. I'm gonna 
And the quote for today, we're going to talk about goals, getting started, and uh, me, uh, I'm going to talk about setting goals when doing the program. Because I touched on it the other day, but I feel like this will probably be the last time I talk for, about it for a while. And I, I want to get really in depth with it. Uh, I really like wrote stuff down yesterday to really have my uh, thoughts. Uh, maybe be able to give this a little more concise since it is always raw, these morning walks where I talk. Um, I don't really plan this out. I'm just speaking off the top of my head. But with this, I'm going to be a little more you know, thought out with it. So the quote goes, a person without goals or a plan to reach them is like a boat that sets sail with no destination. What that quote means, the way I take it, and yeah, pretty much everybody's going to take it the same way, but if you don't have goals in it or a destination, a plan, or if you don't have goals and a plan to reach those goals, you're just going to be floating around, going wherever the wind takes you, wherever the external forces, everyone that's around you talking and doing what they're doing. If you have no goals, you're just going to go with the flow, which means you're not going to, you're probably not going to get where you're trying to go. Um, you might end up being in some places that you didn't plan to be in the first place because you have no no uh, no plan no uh, no destination no no vision to where you're trying to get to um, no one wants to live like that no one wants to be put in a position where they didn't point into because of someone they were hanging out with or just doing what everybody else is doing then realizing years later like oh shit I wasted all this time and look where I'm at now this isn't what I planned my life to look like you know so having goals having a plan is huge if you're following this journey if you're doing 75 hard chances are you have big dreams you know you're trying to reach something that's a outside of the norm in in the first place and if it's something that's outside the norm and you don't have goals or a plan i'm telling you right now you're not going to get there because if it's outside the norm that means no one around you is going to be doing anything like that and if you have no plan and you're just floating around you're just going to do what everybody else does and how's that going to get you to getting something someone else doesn't have or something other people don't have so that's that i'm gonna get into setting goals setting goals before you can set goals you need to have a vision you need to really take take us you have to you have to really sit there with yourself and your thoughts to really figure out what you want not what you know is expected for you to want um something you genuinely want you yourself plans that you have for your life and that's gonna take a bit of knowing yourself i feel like um you can set goals and make them super big which you should you should make your goals big because shoot for the moon or shoot for the stars land on the moon you know if you're if your goal if you're shooting high right and you're you're really reaching for something if you don't reach it at least you're still going to get far because the the goal the trajectory was so big you know that's why I'm setting big goals are huge but I'm going to get back to what I was saying and that was um, knowing yourself, knowing what you really want. Because if you're setting out a goal and you're really going for it, you're going to hit roadblocks, you're going to hit obstacles, and it's gonna, you're going to be in a situation where you're going to want to quit. 
it's it's part of the process you're gonna go through the through through shit to get to where you want to go so if it's not really something you want you're probably gonna end up quitting and not actually reaching that goal and that's why i had that little uh preface at first was you shouldn't you're gonna have to really know what you want once you do that that's step one and you do know what you want and you have the vision you want to start visualizing what you want the best way probably the easiest way what works for me is figuring out what i want what i want my life to look like then from there i start thinking what do i need in order to reach that how much money do i need to reach that you know and then like i said and i previously stated shoot for the stars or aim for the stars land on the moon i think that's how the saying goes make make whatever you think it's going to take it's going to be 10 times more of that because at least if you're shooting for that high vision that high goal and you don't reach it and you miss it just short you'll still have what you need to get to what you want now i'm not saying when you set out these goals that you shouldn't be trying to reach them but i'm just being a realist about how it's it could possibly go all right step two you set out you know what you want step two is to figure out or step three which is kind of what i just said it was all in one was figuring out what you need to do to achieve those goals so like money finances um the relationships all that it's going to require something uh let's say it's easiest to to because it's the most common goals that are financial and maybe you need to start a business or uh be in a position in a company that's growing that your skill set is going to put you in a position where you're going to get paid and paid enough to to reach what you want so that is three figuring out my arms are tired as hell right now it's hard <laughs> uh to to have the finances necessary to have those attainable uh Thanks. <laughs> All right. Then step four is going to be planning how to get there. So if it's a skill you need, how am I going to learn the skill? Right? Break it down. All right. If I want to be good at marketing or I want to have, let's say I want to have a business. All right. If I want to have a business, uh, I'm going to need to know how to do sales. I'm going to need to know how to market. I'm going to need to know how to or have a product, understand the product. I'm going to have to get good at uh, delivering upon that service. There's systems I have to put in place. There's a lot of things necessary with a business skills that you need to develop in order to be able to deliver and, and have that business working. Um, the next thing, if, it, if you're not doing that, let's say you need to, you want to get in head of the marketing department for a company or uh, head of sales or anything like that, you're going to have to develop those, those skills. So even with marketing, it's multiple things. You got SEO, you got social media, you got advertising, you got graphics. So like graphic design, you've got, uh, there's a lot. And I've mentioned in plenty of other videos already the ways to figure out what you need or how to get good at something, which is basically what you're trying to figure out with step four. Then after step four, <laughs> step five, which is the last one, uh, well, this is just the way I do it. There's a lot of different ways you could Google how to come up with goals and set up plans, but this will work for me. I'm gonna, uh, from there, the next thing to do, what can I do every day to move me closer to reaching that goal or reaching that, uh, 
financial position or, you know, if it's a goal you have, I've pretty much broken it down three times. And now what I'm trying to do with step five is make it a daily task that I can do that's going to put me closer to where I need to go. Something that I can do daily that I could keep consistent on and it's going to build up over time. Not necessarily something huge or uh, like a big... Uh, Mm, how can I put it? Uh, elaborate task, basic tasks that are going to put me where I need to go. Maybe they will be a little more, you know, uh, detailed tasks, but I can't find the word that I want to use. But <laughs> like I said, I am tired. But you're going to need to figure out how. All right. How you can set something up so you can do daily. And it's going to push you closer daily. And it's going to build up momentum. And you're going to go from there. That is the way to set up a goal and a plan. That's how I do it. And with that right there and the information I've given, like reading books on the on said topics, YouTube, and um, following like podcasts on current events on that said topic and with those knowing those three things and then how i just described these five things for setting up a goal and a plan you're you're well on your way really what it comes down to after that is going to be not quitting making adjustments having the perspective to look at what you're doing and deciding whether it's working or not and that's another video but that's it for today. That That's the quote. Ha, not having a goal or plan set in motion is like a boat just floating around without a destination to get to. And, you know, that's how you set up a goal and plan for it. And uh, if you're on 75 hard, my tip, my suggestion on setting goals while on program is to get the basics down first right get good at the program eventually the program starts to become i wouldn't say easier but you start acclimating to it and that's usually the time that the the program starts to get a little boring yeah we're good we're good um the program starts to get a little boring and that's the time that i would usually start trying to make it more difficult by setting by having goals i i'm going to start with goals off the bat on the program but this is a uh, that's a good time for you to really start trying to put plans in motion and really get laser focused on the goals i don't know how to how to really say it because you should have a plan set up off the bat before you start the program or when you start the program on what you want to achieve but uh hold this but you know, it's going to be based on, uh, I'm going to cut it here. All right. I was trying to get everything situated to get back in the house. But yeah, that's, that was what I was saying. The goals, the five steps right there, the three st uh, things that I gave last time, or I've given a couple times on this uh, channel, which was like where to find a good, where to find good sources of information to learn from. You know, even taking a course, stuff like that, to get better at a certain skill, to get you to where you need to be, to make the money you need to make, to get those things that you want, um, and live the lifestyle you want. Oh, fuck, my legs are fucking beat from yesterday. That's that, and then if you're, you know, doing the program, I'm probably going to cut out from the, from the last video, but if you're doing the program, um... Make sure you're fully committed. Try to set a plan before you start the program. Sometimes it's hard because you're not, you have no belief in yourself. I can understand that. Start the program. Do what you need to do. Try to set goals while doing the program because you're already getting momentum off the program. You're building that discipline off the program. It's going to help you achieve those goals. Even though it may be a little more time restraint, 
uh, more tasks on your list. Once you're in a position that you're getting used to doing 75 hard, start attacking the power list. Maybe do a to-do list to get you ahead. You know, you should always be trying to move forward. And if stuff feels like it's getting easier, I mean, that's good too. But sometimes that's an opportunity to uh, crank up, you know, what you're getting done. All right, guys, I'll cut it here. Uh, you'll probably see me again at the gym or on the laptop. All right, guys. Traps, delts, triceps, bro split. <laughs> uh, that's what's on the menu for the day. I'm going to start warming up my shoulders. Um, probably run the rack, warm them up, and then get ready to hit some working sets. I've got, I believe, three working sets on dumbbell uh, lateral. And I have four sets of cable crossovers uh, for the side. So I got plenty of side volume I'm hitting today. So the pump should be excellent. Got a good uh, three hour nap before here. I was just exhausted from these past two days, like that night shift plus this morning. I barely slept again, you know. <laughs> so I actually got some sleep today. I was still feeling a little tired because just waking up, but we're going to get to it. Went heavy on the side delts. Going to do some presses now on this ISO machine. And then I have cable crossovers for the side delt, but I'm going to go for reps and uh, really slow move, slow movement, slow, to, uh, slow tempo to really get the stretch, feel the fibers, all that. So I'm pushing weight now. Next side delt again, but this time I'm going for reps and control. That's it for the shoulders. We're gonna hit these two sets of bent over shrugs. We're gonna start uh, we're gonna do the calf raise and the tricep. And that should be it for today. 
he got it, he got it, he got it, he got it. Not for struts, though. He should be doing the, the 110 for struts. And the right, right. Set. Push it over. I'm gonna do a, a myo rep match on this one. So intensity amplifier for today. And uh, I'm gonna get as many reps as I can here on this rep for this set. Then after that, I'm gonna hit that same rep or that amount of reps, no matter how many sets it takes me to get there. Uh, max two sets.
That's it. That's it for the workout. Uh, did my calves today. Started with delts. I hit what? Seven sets on side. Three with the with the presses. I didn't do any rears because I have rears tomorrow. Um, I did my traps, which was the two sets, bent over, dumbbell. Um, just calves, two sets, just to, you know, I try to hit calves every day. It's, Caps are as bad as they are. Uh, that's at the game, so pretty bad. Um, and then I don't know if this is close, but the well, last thing I did was the triceps, and for triceps I ended up doing like up the two, two, so four working sets, and then that whole burnout uh, with the uh, rope pushdowns just to work on the side because I definitely hit the inside. But the outside, I was like, you know what? Since this is all I'm doing today, I'm gonna hit the outside a little bit more. And that was about what was that? Uh, three, well, two sets and a myo rep set at the end uh, on that third set. So uh, I'll probably go into another video next time when I do something like this, where I go into like intensity amplifiers and like myo rep sets, um, drop sets, back off sets. Well, back off sets aren't really an intensity amplifier, but you. You got supersets, you got drop sets, and then you have myo rep match sets and pause rep sets. Uh, myo rep match sets, is, I'll go into it later. I'm gonna cut the video here, and I'll see you guys next episode.